Hey everybody, it's Carmen and welcome back to Friday Sews. Friday Sews is an opportunity for the sewing community to talk a little bit about what they're working on this week, what they've got on tap for next week, and a little bit of life in general. So this week I uh, sewed a skirt and a top. This was fabric that I picked up at Joanne Fabrics some time ago and it was kind of like one of those end of the bolt kind of things and it wasn't very much in there so there was just enough to squeeze a little one yard skirt and a little one yard top off of it and it's kind of a sparkly. It has a little bit of a glitter the, the fabric does so I thought hey you know maybe it'll be nice with some white shoes and I, I'll wear it for Mother's Day to, to church or out to dinner or something. So let me show you that. Here's the skirt it is very simple to put together except I think I put the zipper on the wrong side. I don't know if that makes any difference. Um, I, can you tell that the fabric is uh, got some glitter to it? It's a little uh, on the stiff side, kind of like a very dressy fabric that maybe, I don't know, reminds me of the mother of the bride kind of fabric. That's the skirt and I'll list the pattern that I use for that below. The top I'm making is New Look 6006 which is this top here. It's a great top. I've got a couple of them already put together and it makes a, it's a really great top for the weather that we're having. Also uh, th this week I've downloaded a couple of free indie patterns. I don't know, I'm, I'm like into the indie patterns all of a sudden. So I downloaded two free dresses, the Posy dress and the Nadia dress. So I'm going to be working on that. Both very simple uh, shift dresses, perfect for the summer. I purchased an indie pattern for underwear. It's the, the Cutie Booty uh, Undies buy patterns for pirates or something like that. So that's going to be my first attempt on some underwear. I am really looking forward to uh, uh, working on that and, and using some uh, scrap pieces for that to get the fit just right. You may remember I do have some sewing goals for 2021 and that's to sew at least one garment a month for the next 12 months. And I'm doing pretty good. So far I have sewn about 10 garments in the first five uh, months of the year. So I'm uh, a bit ahead of the schedule there. So May is going to be a little bit of a wild card, I thought. I do um, kind of like whatever I felt like, like underwear and um, I'm inspired to try a bathing suit. So somewhere between now and August, I'm giving myself that time frame to, to try a bathing suit. Uh, Jen and Madi both made bathing suits. Uh, check out their channels for, for that collab. That, they, they came out beautiful. I thought that I would work more on some sundresses and maybe some summer maxi dresses. So I've got some fabric for that. So that's what's on tap for the rest of this month. Oh, the other indie free pattern that I downloaded is the Brianna top and that's by Anina J. I will list her below also and I'll try to pop in a picture of the top here so you can see. She recommends an ITY. I ordered some ITY from Metro Textiles New York City. Metro Textiles NYC. Uh, check out their website because at, I bought these with a 55% off coupon but at the time of this recording there is a 60% off coupon up until May the 16th. So look at these ITYs. This one is beautiful. Look at the drape on this first of all. It has a beautiful uh, cool hand. Uh, it's got stretch this way, stretch this way. So this is a four-way stretch. It's a little bit translucent but I thought it would make a beautiful Brianna top. The second is also an animal print. It's beautiful black white, red uh, spots. Again, beautiful drape, ITY. Uh, a little bit of stretch this way, a lot more stretch that way. So um, um, maybe almost like a two-way <laughs> stretch. This is gorgeous. Again, from Metro Textiles NYC. Beautiful, beautiful weight on these too. You know, sometimes you get some of these stretchier fabrics and they're like really thin and hard to work with. 
The third one and final one from uh, Metro Textiles is this one with the butterflies in it. There's a, quite a bit of cotton in this one. So we've got some stretch going this way. We've got some stretch going that way. It's beautiful. I thought it would make a gorgeous tank top. Butterflies are right uh, on trend too. Did you Have you noticed how many butterflies are showing up on some of these designer uh, embroidered uh, jeans and tops and stuff like that? So I was real happy to see the butterfly motif on this one. So again, this one also is either going to be a uh, tank top and if there's enough left over, a Brianna top or maybe the other way around a Brianna top and if there's enough left over tank top. I'll leave some information below but go to their website and check out that coupon now while you can. Really great service. Um, I mean the gentleman himself uh, emails you or will call you if there's any question on your order. So I also got uh, um, some other things from him and I will show that in a fabric haul because it's a, it's a large haul. I received this one from Minerva Fabrics. Um, I'm going to be part of their Minerva makers or something like that. I will be making something out of this and then uh, posting it on their website. So I'm excited to do that because that's the first time I've done anything like that. This is a, a cotton poplin. It's got a little bit of stretch this way. Uh, beautiful weight. It's lightweight. Uh, has somewhat of a dry hand to it. I did wash it already. I might wash it one more time to see if it softens up a little bit more, but it's got some structure to it. I thought it would make a fabulous shirt dress. So that's some of the stuff that I have on tap for next week and the month of May in general, in case you don't hear from me until the end of the month. So now it's life. Well, I, um, oh, I, you know what I did? I tried to track down my textiles shop teacher. Every time I'm sewing, I think of her so fondly and I thought to myself, you know what, I, I need to try to get a hold of her. Well, I, I did some Googling and some phone calling and I was able to track her down. She now lives in North Carolina. I wrote her a really nice uh, letter and I was so happy to hear from her back. She wrote me back and she remembered me, which, you know, th that's amazing that teachers can remember their students. I mean, she really remembered who she was talking to because she was specific in her letter about some, uh, some of the memories. It was just awesome to uh, hear from her. She's 80 years old and still very active. She doesn't sew as much, but she does. She did say that when she does, she gets lost in her sewing in her sewing room. So it was just awesome to have connected with her again. Someone who really, really impacted me when it comes to sewing. Check out the video here for more inspiration, and I'll talk to you soon.